Welcome to Mach 3 Monday on Tuesday, episode 12. This is Mike behind the camera. That's Jeff holding what's called a SIM stick. That stands for Strength in Motion. It's a tool that's part of our virtual course called Mach 3 SIM. You can see that the stick will bend and we use it to create pressure in the body. So what we're gonna work on today, if you are a golfer, and that's if you are a golfer who wants to build additional length at either end of the swing or both ends, this, these drills can help you. Now, that's not something that we advocate as a general rule. Not everybody needs more length in their swing, but if you and your instructor believe that you do, here's a way to build some strength. So you can see that he, he's a left-handed golfer. He has his lead hand overhand and his trail hand underhand. That's called half pole. There's also another way of gripping it called full pull, where he'll slide that trail hand to the end there. All right, now remembering that he's left-handed, we're gonna let him sweep into his full backswing, and then he's gonna bend the pole for five seconds to create some pressure equally throughout the body. Now he's gonna go to full pole by sliding his left hand, his trail hand up to the end. He's gonna bend for 10 seconds. So again, he's creating equal pressure throughout the body, building strength in that position. Now he's gonna take the lead hand and he's gonna move it to half pull. Now this is a more difficult bend and he's gonna go five seconds. And now he's gonna take that right hand, his lead hand, and he's gonna push upward gently, pushing that left arm and shoulder further and deeper into that position. Huge stretch right there for his left bicep and left pec. Okay, now let's come back and we're gonna to go to the other side of the ball. So he's gonna to have to switch his hands here. All right, now he's gonna to work towards his lead side past the ball. So here he goes into his follow through. Now there's a half pole bend for five seconds. And then a full pole bend for 10 seconds. Then he's gonna slide that left hand halfway up. This is a more difficult bend. It takes more strength because you've shortened the length of the pole. And now he's gonna take that left hand at the bottom of the pole and gently push, big release of the right bicep, right pec. So what he did there is he lengthened each end of his swing and he built and, and started to develop strength at each of those new ranges because there's no reason in the world to have the new range unless you're strong there.